My name is Katie Rollins. How are we doing today? Happy, happy Wednesday, Kendra. All I see is your face. Thank you so much for helping us out today. You are amazing, sister. All right, so, mm, little heart hands. Okay, so we are so excited for today's Zoom because it's gonna be on one of the most powerful parts of our foundational basis, which is prove it. We are attracting, we're connecting, we're experiencing and enrolling. Today is all about the connect. It's all that bridge supportive piece. And we have Abigail Klotz on the call today. She is gonna be doing such an awesome training for you guys. I already actually got a bit of a preview in it in our other call. She's about to bring the heat to you. So what I want to do is while we have everyone on the call super quick, because y'all are some of the most adaptable human beings I think I've ever seen. How about this? In your team right now, who do you know? Who do you love connecting with? Who do you love listening to show up when they are faced with any, any form of adversity in their business, pushback? They're like, listen, I'm here, I'm not afraid, I'm still showing up unapologetically, I'm still gonna lead. Drop those names in the comment. Who are the, some of the most adaptable people that you love to work with or maybe love to look to for inspiration? Yes, oh my God, y'all. Kayla Kelly, Amanda Roger, amen, sister. Mick and Camille, oh my God, Emily Maurice, I can literally not even keep up. Nick Couch, Kelsey. Kev Russell, Sam Sher, what up, Pro Jam? Love it, Natasha, yes, sister. Oh my gosh, this is a real actual skill to be able to read all these. Katie Rose, Taylor and Allie, absolutely. Kev Russell, love it. Amy Eckert, totally agree. Amanda Tutin, okay, okay. Oh my God, Katie Estrada, you guys are amazing. I love it, thank you so much. Courtney, okay, amazing. So here's the deal. I mean, if that's not the flag of a team, that's just pretty incredible, guys. We are one amazing group of humans because, listen, real life's gonna happen, right? All of a sudden, you just get through a weird angle and you're like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna roll with it. So I applaud you guys for being adaptable. I applaud all of you who are in the comment thread who are like, I got this. It's no big deal. That's how you show up to your life and your business, right? So incredible stuff. Um, if you have your cameras turned off. I would absolutely love it. And I know Abby would as well. Turn your little cameras on. As long as you're wearing clothing, we don't care what you got going on. This whole head is held together by, by dry shampoo. It just is what it is. Y'all, we love, we're a big old family. So um, turn on your camera so you can share your beautiful smiles and energy with us today on the call. So let me ask, I'd love to see some teeth. Who's wide awake? Sounds like I missed some entertaining stuff before this. So whatever that was, like keep that energy free flowing. You know, we're here to have a good time. It's the middle of the day. Mrs. Benson, I appreciate you keeping your, your camera off if you are naked then. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And then last thing before we jump over into our training today, who here? I know my Pulse app was acting a little bit squirrely. So I was like, all right, what's going on? I was on the, on the Prove It Facebook page, social media. Anyone see some fun stuff going on in Prove It land? Maybe it starts with a re, ends with a boot. I don't know. Is that just me? Y'all, reboot kits are here. And it looks like the reboot Excel kit is a little bit special. I was, I was zooming in. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not keto time. That's not salt to caramel. Guys, they're dropping French onion in the reboot Excel kit. I don't know about you, but that is reason enough for you to be telling every single person who's ever done a reboot, oh my God, guys, this is it. And not just that, they're throwing an extra mystery box in all of those kits that are going out on top of what comes with it normally. And there was mention something of keto up. Listen, I don't even know what that is, but I just know I need it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just like, that name sounds exciting enough to me. So I am, I'm hopping in, getting mine on. So make sure that you are spreading the word and with that, I'm gonna hand this over. I think it's a great time to hand this over to Miss Abigail so she can jump into her training and pick up, I wouldn't say pick up where she left off. She's gonna start over, but Abby, you there, honey? All right, I'm here. Thank you again, Katie. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, yes, yes love it. Um, it's, it's great to have 181 people on here versus when we have 14, but we were gonna bring the heat regardless. We just didn't know where y'all were, but okay, it is six degrees here in Kansas City, and I was telling Katie um, and the 12 of you that um, it's been um, amazing preparing for this as the karaoke machine has been on blast because they canceled school today. But it also makes me so grateful for this home-based business that I can be here with my daughter. So I have threatened her life. She's upstairs watching her iPad and now we're on borrowed time. So I'm gonna get straight into this point on 
um, connection. I want to take you back to last week real quick because it's so important to know the why behind the connection. And my outcome for you by the end of this training is that you will have a couple tools at hand that make it so quick for you to connect. And also that you will know the right questions to ask people that will lead you quickly to the right connections. I think so often when we get started and we're nervous, we don't really know all our tools and resources right at our fingertips. And I just want after this Zoom today, you to feel like you could be in a conversation and you would not be the message and you would know what to grab to get it to that person so that you could have a successful, I, what I would say, process into the experience and enroll. So we talk about ACE all the time, attraction first, connection, and then experience and enroll. So on connection today, remember, and I loved this illustration with Brian James because I'm such like, I love the Vikings. I love Game of Thrones, right? I love, uh, I just got done watching Frontier on Netflix. Whew, yeah, you need to see that, ladies. It's great. Um, but Brian, oh, you know what I'm talking about, Aquaman, Jason Momoa? Yeah. Okay, Brian was talking the other day about how we don't kill the messenger, right? Like you don't do that because from kingdom to kingdom, you need to be able to carry messages. So it was like a sign of respect. And as we go about our days being crazy, you know, and all these things, I would think it's safe to say we have sometimes limited energy. Sometimes we have a limited tolerance for people. I think the more people you're dealing with, the more sometimes you shut down faster. You have to go get away. You have to go do a handstand. You have to go move and you have to come back. And I would say that setting yourself up to be able to hand those resources and connect people to those resources and keep yourself from being the messenger will keep you from taking those personal attacks with just people who are rude, okay? They can't attack you as much if you're connecting them to resources. They can say what they want about the resources, but that ain't you. So being able to save your energy and play, and we always said in basketball, play smart, right? Or in business, be, play smart, not harder, all right? Um, be efficient. So efficiency is being able to ask the right questions, knowing where to quickly connect them to the right resources, and then being able to move forward in our ACE with the experience in a role. So on connection today, I wrote this on a board and I think there are three, three categories. And I, if you're taking notes, write this down because I'm gonna do a screen share with you in a second. And literally you could start your day by opening up these resources on your laptop or being able to quickly navigate them on your phone to be able to connect someone. But three different categories that I'm looking for when I'm asking questions and getting um, into information. Number one, does this person need more knowledge? And typically, guys, if we're running the play that works, one of our first questions is, what do you know about ketones or ketosis? Okay, so the knowledge piece. And if you are falling into the knowledge, and I'm gonna lay them out real quick. We've got knowledge, we have emotions, and we have credibility. Okay, those are the three categories. So when you are asking questions to people, you're gonna identify their answers and what they need. Are they needing more knowledge? Let's keep it so simple today. Get them the campfire video. Hey, take a look at this four minute video. Tell me what you like about it or what you're looking for to change in your health status that you saw in there, okay? Ask them for the feedback. Emotion. I really like to have emotional responses. And typically, if I ask someone, what are your health goals? And I just sit back and listen, I can identify emotions when they start pouring out their health goals. 
people want to talk about what's going on, what they're feeling. If you go sit at a salon or if you're a hairstylist, it's like all the problems, like all the things they don't like, all the health issues people are having. And guys, it gets emotional after a while. Health issues get emotional. So looking for emotions, okay? And when I find those emotions, I want to come in there with hope for them. And I think the strongest hope is grabbing an Inspire On video that I feel like they can relate to the most. And those are emotional and that fits with emotional answers when you ask, what are your health goals, okay? Um, also testimonies. And I am gonna show you in just a minute how to quickly grab testimonies that you can feel safe and secure with, all right? And then the third one is credibility. How many of you feel like sometimes, I, I think this happens a lot in our business, you get in these conversations where you almost feel like they're trying to test your credibility, right? Raise your hand. Or they're trying to power up over you. Or they're trying to take a position of authority over you because you're just in one of those businesses, right? And this is where you should identify very quickly that if you are going to be the message, um, you're going to get crushed. So it is so important to know this third category, and that's credibility. Where are we going to send people like that? Because like Brian said, I can, I can make myself sound way bigger than I am. Um, and in the very beginning, I was just, Brian and I were the same. And I was like, I'm a trainer and I'm a nutritionist. And, you know, trainers are blah, 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 blah. And I would, I would position myself over everyone I had a conversation with. A um, little bit of ego, a little bit of arrogance. And over time, I got very crushed. And <laughs> my business was not replicating. And what he said the other day was so true. If you want to build a big business here, you better stop being the message, okay? You are threatening people. You are making them insecure. You are shutting them down. If they come in on your business and you did that to 50 people where you positioned yourself as the know-it-all, you are not going to be able to keep up because everybody wants to use you and your voice and your brain. And it is not a sustainable business that is going to carry on. So to be the best team leader is when you're very initially in the prospecting phase where you're connecting, it's due to them what you would want them to do to somebody else three months down the line once they've gone through the process. So just remember that every conversation you're having, if they end up coming into your business, if you are not a connector, you are setting them up from day one to not also be a connector and you are slowing up the whole process. So three categories, knowledge, emotion, and credibility, okay? And let's talk real quick if you are in discussions with people, here's a couple questions you can jot down real quick. Um, Katie, can you just uh, type, or somebody type these in the chat just so we got them going. Also in the chat, I just wanna make sure that it's been said, um, knowledge, emotion, and credibility, the three basic um, filters we're looking at. So number one question, what do you know about ketones and ketosis? Read the answer. Is, is it, do they know nothing or have they already derailed off into emotion? If you're talking a woman, that could be possible. Um, but camp, campfire video usually comes from that question. Where are you from? I just get into building rapport and oftentimes that's going to take me into a connecting piece. Where are you from and what do you do? I'm trying to get to know a person. Where are you from and what do you do? Okay, the other day, I was having a conversation with a woman. Where are you from? I'm from California. What do you do? I work at a rehab center. I work with addicts. Oh my gosh. How many stories have we heard on Inspire On campaigns from people who were addicted to something, right? So immediately based on her job, 
I know where I'm going. All right. I'm going to an inspire on video. Um, what does a typical day for you look like? What's a typical day for you look like? And I'm either looking at um, making, you know, when I ask a mom that what's a typical day for you look like, usually I'm prompting them into where I want them, which is, do you struggle with that energy drop at 2.30 before you pick up your kids? Okay, I've been in the industry for a decade, and like I can ask you right now, and even some of you men, how many of you on here at 2.30 or 3 o'clock are raiding your pantry? That's when your kids are coming home. That's when you're the most sluggish. It's when cortisols are rising the most. It's where I want you to drink ketones. And if I can get you to identify how you're feeling at 2.30 on most days, I can quickly connect you to that emotional pain point that that's when we need it the most. So what's your typical day look like? And what do you do? Why? Because I already want to know what you do. I want to know what you do because I am always on the hunt for somebody to join me in this conversation, even though I am still going to start you with an experience. So I'm in this to build a business. So everybody's going to get asked, what do you do? Okay. So knowledge, campfire, emotion, inspire on video or a testimony, credibility. The other day, um, I had a woman who's a blogger. She's a big influencer, okay? She needed credibility. She needed to see that this is credible. And I'm going to go find, show you right now where you can quickly go for these three categories as you read the answers. So we're gonna open up here this um, share screen. Okay, are we good? Um, yeah, Katie, you, you see the screen? Okay. All right, I'm gonna move this down. Okay, so let's say you're in a conversation, you're building a little bit rapport, and now you're reading the answers. Um, my favorite illustration of this is, you know, you get to wake up excited each day, and uh, Michael Rutherford shared this with me one time, and you're getting ready to start playing ping pong. And there are tables on every, you have like maybe eight tables open that day. Maybe you have three tables open that day, but I am waking up, I'm starting to talk, and I am looking for answers, and when I hit that ping pong ball back to that player, that's a connection piece. I am connecting them, and then I am waiting for them to come back to me, and then I am hitting the ball back again. So here's where I'm kind of getting my balls. That sounds really, really great. Okay, um, right here, if I'm, let's start with knowledge base. One of the safest and best places to go get those connectors would be your, I don't like to throw links. So what I would do is I would go to the, if you're kind of look, you know, like where do I start? I would grab, I love grabbing the TED talk because how can you get even more knowledge than that? Okay. Um, you can literally click into that video. It takes you to YouTube. Then you can get a link and people like to watch things. Okay. Um, so under research, you're going to have a lot of knowledge. So find out what they're asking. And this is a safe place to get your information because it's on the website and it's approved. Okay. The other thing real quick on the most basic of knowledge, is to make sure you are subscribed to, to the Prove It YouTube channel, okay? Because there are so many things out there on YouTubes and there can be click funnels and there can be links you don't want people slipping into. So make sure that on YouTube, you are subscribed to the Prove It official YouTube channel. And a lot of people are always like, well, what happens if they're not on Facebook? What happens if, you know, I, they're not going to be able to go to the Facebook page to see the campfire video? You can grab the YouTube link right now, right here to the most fundamental answer to knowledge. And that's, that's your campfire video. Okay, let's slide into the next category. I'm talking, I'm talking. The other day I was talking to a woman and she told me, 
she was having a meltdown because uh, she had lupus and she was having a reaction and a flare up. Okay, I am not a medical professional. I'm not going to touch talking about lupus, but I, this is the first thing that I did. Number one, I went to the Prove It Facebook page. Okay, I went to the Prove It Facebook page and I simply, right out here by it, I type, and I hope this works on the computer, it works perfectly from a phone, but I typed in lupus, okay? Why? Because if it's posted on the Prove It Facebook page and it's coming from that, then I feel safe and secure. So right here, there was a Dr. Andy video that pulled up and actually that's exactly what I copied and pasted her number one for knowledge because I'm not gonna speak about anything of any kind of medical conditions. But number two, I found, and I don't remember where it was, but it pulled up on my phone on the Prove It Facebook page, a testimony that went through with a before and after picture of a girl with a rash and had her face swollen, and I literally took that link and I shared it with that woman because that's emotional, and she needed some hope that day, all right? Based on those two resources, I was then able to say, you know, I didn't have to talk her into it. I showed her knowledge, I showed her emotion through a testimony, and then I got her sent out in the mail um, five creams and five ketones that day. Okay. So I didn't sell it. I didn't need to, I shared the stories and I shared the knowledge. So, um, the other one right here, if it's emotional reaction, if they're kind of getting into the emotions with you, once again, on YouTube, if you will go, you can even go into, um, prove it, inspire on and look at all these videos that come up. All right, this is why it's really important. Like you can save these in your phone, some of your favorites, um, but it's important to be able to watch these videos and maybe make notes. Um, stay at home mom, 50 year old dad. Like I'm trying to get the most relevant story to share because in this business we are connecting to stories to give people hope of better. So I think this is one of your most powerful resources um, to be able to share with people, inspire on videos. They're, we made them for a reason and they freaking work. Okay, the um, last one, on a daily basis, when you're playing ping pong with somebody and connecting them with resources, giving them value without always getting into the ketone conversation right off the bat is a smart idea. And you'll be able to read that. But I want to daily go through people who I'm engaging with and think about what value can I add to their life today? And a lot of people we're starting to see are doing keto. They're doing high fat, low carb. So a great thing to do is just like, Hey, um, hey Jerry, I was thinking about you. I know you have been posting a lot of keto recipes on your Instagram. I just thought maybe you'd want to check this out. All right, I'm going to go back to Jerry in three days and I'm going to maybe provide him something else. Sometimes I just like to, in a cold market like that, provide people value, value, value until they start looking at me and asking me. Okay, um, so there's just so many resources we can give. So when you're a connector, um, you can connect people too if you're playing ping pong that day with books or memes, funny memes, motivational things. But just being able to give, give, give and think about your life every day as connecting people to resources and things that are going to help them get better. Um, you're trickling with those connections every day. So right there, what you got open, you've got the learn section for knowledge, you have inspire on videos for emotion, um, you have the prove it Facebook page 
for testimonies and just use that one search word when you're in your conversations and put it in there and see what comes up. And then you have um, just your basic Prove It YouTube channel. Um, somebody asked me today where, um, where they could find you know, some information on Reboot and I quickly just went to the Prove It YouTube channel and I pulled up one of the Reboot videos and I dropped it to one of my promoters. And now she'll know that she can always go to that resource. So did I answer anyone about what the Reboot is? No. I quickly put in a resource that is going to share that. So um, I'm coming back on screen right now. Okay, so you know the basics of connection is to get in conversations, ask good questions, and look for those categories, and then quickly connect them with some sort of resource. The last thing we are doing is we are telling them about ketones. We are telling them about our friend who had this, ex I don't wanna tell anyone anything. I don't want them to take away my energy or hurt my vibe or slow up my process or make anything unreplicatable because this is my business, I'm in control, and I know the way that this flows best. And on a day like today, everything that I just talked about on connection is in the beginning phase of ACE where you're attracting, you're connecting, and then enrolling. But I wanna to mention today because we just brought in so many new provers through the Max Experience Pack on sale. I think one of the biggest connection pieces that sometimes goes undone, and I, I actually connected um, my sponsor, Brian, with two people this week because I just am like, I am so, why are, why are we not connecting the new promoters to their team? Why are we not connecting the new promoters with somebody other than, you know, that rank two who is still getting mentored and learning and maybe doesn't know where the resources to connect are. It is so important that this week, if you have brought on new people, that the buck does not stop on you with that new person. Engage them with your sponsor. If your sponsor is out of touch, go to their sponsor. But we work best in a community, and we work best when we have a couple people around us that are helping. And so, you know, I, 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 the buck could stop at me, been here four years, but do I want that new promoter to see the buck stopping at me? Be no, because I want her to go get new people and then to connect them with me. So I immediately opened up a three-way messenger and just said, you know, hey, Brian, this is my new promoter, so-and-so. I am so excited. She's in the business. She's this and she's that. Hey, new promoter, this is Brian James. He is the most amazing business partner. He is very inspiring. He's going to be on the training videos every day that I'm going to engage you to. And I just wanted you to see a familiar face when you hop on there and know that if I'm unavailable, you can always go to him. We're in your corner. We can't wait to get you started with your business. Okay, so I want you leaving this recording today. Okay. I want you to get in three conversations, okay? And let's write this in the chat. Three conversations. And when, like, we, you don't even have to get into the play that works today, all right? But just, and maybe, you know, the easiest way to get in a conversation is to show up on your storylines. And uh, so go watch Lexus talk about attraction, marketing, okay? This is all tying together. But the biggest stories, the, the biggest connections I get are by just showing up in my storylines. Those small comments where I can engage back and ask questions. So three conversations where you ask a question and I want you to write down on a piece of paper the question you asked and what category it fell into, their answer. I want you to get good at reading answers because it's fun. It is fun. You're on the hunt every day. 
So did I just get thrown back? They need more knowledge on lifestyle or product. Did I just get thrown back that they're in an emotional state right now and they need help and they need hope? Did I just get thrown back right now that they think they're pretty smart stuff and they know it all and I need to get them a specialist um, resource? So I want you to have three conversations based on the questions you ask. I want you to put it in a category and then I want you to go to one of those resources that I showed you and drop it in as a connection piece. It is hard to keep your mouth shut, but I want you to try it. And you may be connecting them with resources three days as they ping pong back before you ever even get into what do you know about ketones and ketosis. Maybe you're throwing a recipe, maybe you're throwing inspiration, and you're letting them come back to you. Okay, so three of those. And your second action item is if you have brought in a new promoter, Open up a three-way chat today with somebody else that is where you want to be uh, in the business that is in your line, a sponsor to a sponsor to a sponsor, okay? Do not let anybody who has just come in only see you because we want to expedite the growth of your teams and that's where we create teams and we gauge people to people. So three conversations, identify what you're reading and the answers, whether it's knowledge, specialist, or emotion. And then the second assignment is to make sure if you have a new promoter, you are connecting them in a three-way message with a sponsor or a coach. So with that being said, Katie, I'm going to toss it back to you. That was amazing, Abigail. Like, People are going bananas in the chat thread. We love it. That was so much value. And I'm like, my biggest takeaway just from that is, man, I forget about, for one, I feel like we have so many incredible things that we can share that we, we don't even realize that sometimes you got to have that big picture awareness that whatever we're doing with someone who's coming in as a new customer or even experiencing a ketones it's very likely that they're going to end up at some point becoming promoters. So that first touch that they get with you is how that's going to set the tone. So, you know, setting it up to being something duplicatable is amazing. That was so good, Abigail. Thank you. Um, so if you guys got a lot of value from this, make sure to let Abigail know in the comments, um, in the chat thread. And uh, since we're on the topic of connection and resources, last night we had an amazing Ketones 101 over on the Ketones 101 like page. We had Miss Chancy Petty out in Texas share her story. Um, how many mamas were on that call listening like, oh my God. So if you have not gone and listened to that call, please go ahead and listen to the replay and tag those mamas that you know that can love ketones, um, how it can transform their life as much as it did for Chansey and so many of ours. So make sure that you're using that resource. Um, tomorrow evening, we're going to be having a COC success profile interview, and that's going to be incredible as well. So be on the lookout for that. And then um, last bit of, of training reminder tomorrow, same time, same place, but on the correct Zoom link, we will have, um, we will have an incredible training on experience and I'm super excited for that one. So make sure that you're digesting everything here. You're going to go ahead and get your call to actions in and complete it and then be on tomorrow's call at 1215. Um, that's going to be a really good one. Recap super quick, as we talked about in the beginning, make sure that you're getting out there, spreading the word about these incredible reboot kits, specifically that Reboot Excel, guys, that is so much value being added in there. And so many people are really, really excited about trying the new Better Broth. So I know that that's going to be a great conversation opener to anyone who's done the reboot before, literally anyone. They now have the ability to get their hands on the Reboot Excel kit, get set up with an extra free box of ketones, as well as our new French onion better broth flavor, which is not available on the website. So with that, I wanna honor everyone's time and I appreciate everyone and your flexibility, adaptability today with these calls. And Abigail, thank you again so much for doing such a rocking job on that. That was awesome. And be on the lookout for the recording uploaded to our YouTube soon on Keto Movement. Have a nice day, guys. Take care.